In this video, we're going to explore how we can set up different uh, uh, Y-scale values in the labels here. As you can see here, these tick labels now, instead of standard having a default number based on what the chart is, we have here now a different number like 3.3, 6.6, 9.9, .9, and then it increments by 3.3 .3 all the time until it hits 25 here. So let's start explore how we can customize our Y scale labels. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to customize the tick values in the scales in ChartJS. And this question came from one of my other videos about uh, how to set custom string labels on the Y axis in ChartJS. And if you scroll down here, you can see this question came from Rodney Hickman. A special thank you to Rodney for asking the question. And this is what Rodney asked. Let's say you wanted to have the label at a different value at like 9.5, where it doesn't hit an actual tick value. So how can we do that? Or how can we display that a grid line on there? Well, that's probably the essence of the question. So let's start to work on this. For this, we need to go to charges3.com, getting started, and we're going to get a default code. And if you see this here, do not worry about this. For some reason, my Google Chrome gives this error, but my Firefox works fine. But anyway, we're going to copy this here. This is the code here, and if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific video here. I'm going to paste this in here, and once I paste that in, what I want to do is I want to cut out this, put it in there, and once I did this, save this, and here we can refresh, and now we have our bar chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the tick st uh, step size, basically. These are the steps here that we want to show. So if we scroll down here, we go here into the Y axis, then in here, put a comma, and we say it ticks, and then in here, we will say step size. And with this, make sure you spell this correctly, of course, we can start to control the size. So if I would put in here 0 0.5, you will see something will change. If I refresh here now, you can see here now, it will increase, but you would expect a 0 0.5 increment. In this case, it's not, and the reason why is because ChartJS is luckily also intelligent enough to analyze if your suggestion or your desired result is possible. And if it's not, what it will do is it will give you the best possible option here. So in this case, instead of incre increasing with 0 0.5, it will increase by 1.5 because this is more visual or more suitable for ChartJS because if not, there would be too many lines and the numbers are not readable. So this is a very nice feature. So this is one of the options here, but if you would like to have, let's say, uh, 9.5, well, we can do here 4.5 maybe instead, which would be like this. We can do maybe 4.25, and you will see that eventually the scale will round it up a little bit. Like this, as you can see, 4.3, then you have 8.5 here, etc., etc. but basically it is 4.25, but it just rounded up here to make it visual. Or more suitable here so these are some of the options but maybe what you can do as well and this is another option as well you want to control here like the, the starting point or at least you want to keep it at zero but you want to have an ending point as well so we can do this as well by just going here in the y scale and then we can just indicate here well what we do is just do it below the begins at zero you can say here a minimum well minimum in this case is zero and we can also have a max value here. Let's say we want here to have 25. So put a comma here and save this. And once we do this, as you can see here now, now it changes here into 25. And you will see that this increment here is not equal to what we have here, but that's normal. But you can see it more better if we just do this by, let's we do this by um, six. Then you will see that the lines might be all right. In this case, six. Here, 24, and apparently this one is slightly bigger. You can see here this slightly bigger square compared to the others here. And if you would do this uh, step size by 27, you'll notice it probably more clearly. We have an increment of 7, and then you have here this grid line. It wants to hit to the very top max here. And that's basically how you would be able to control all of these scale or the Y scale values. So if you like this uh, video, I have another video as well that might be interesting because that is related to the X scale. So sometimes you want to have long labels and you need to wrap them properly. So to do that, I have this specific video that covers that specific topic where you can play around 
with the labels. We just called that how to wrap long labels from the database array into EX axis scales in Chart.js.